Good afternoon. Here I am in a very good coin shooting field. Been in about five minutes or so. Got a pretty decent signal here. It's jumping around a little bit on the Ferris scale, but um, it's settling more or less towards the top right hand side of the screen, which on the E track is generally a very good signal. So I'm going to give it a dig. And it's a very bent George the Fifth half penny. Right, this seems to be a fairly small target, reasonably deep. Um, it's hitting towards the right hand side of the screen, uh, but it's jumping up and down. But it's, it's, it probably is worthy of a dig. Sometimes you get little threepenny bits or maybe a, a sixpence that's on its side. Um, and I would hate to miss one of those targets. There's a tree root running right through the middle of this hole. Excellent. That is a perfect case in point why you should never, never ever ignore bouncy signals that you think might possibly be a coin. It's a 1931 silver sixpence. Second dig of the day and it's a silver coin. I've come almost all the way across the field and I think I've only found about four coins. Dug a little bit of trash as well. This one's reading the 1246, which is right up in the top right hand corner of the screen. Um, I'm hoping this one will be a coin. I would say that judging by this, a crust of earth formed around something that I would imagine there's a coin inside of here. Oh yes. Well I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting it to be like a half penny or an old penny. Normally you don't get it clustered like this around silver, 
but that is a beautiful 1924 George V shilling. It is George V penny. Nineteen eighteen. That was a good ten inches under the ground. This one can't really decide where it wants to be on the screen, but the conductive is more or less steady at a constant ish thirty. Bouncing around on the ferrous scale, i.e., up and down all over the place. But it's still worth a dig. It's another half penny. Very, very worn. Looks like an early Victoria. Well, I could do with a new car. I don't think I'll get much gear in the back of that though. This one's reading 1141. That seems like a rocky dig as well. A pair of threepenny bits, which in Cockney rhyme and slang would be quite rude. Both in the same hole. <laughs> this is reading 11.37. Both ways, normally a good sign. And it's another half penny. This time it's a George V. 1931. It's in quite good condition. This is reading 1237. Little coin ball. Marvellous. Oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful condition. 1922 sixpence. Great. This is reading 10.32 one way and 15.32 the other way. Either way, it's worthy of a dig.
Well, hey, get it in. Yet another silver coin. This time, 1928. In excellent condition again. Another George V. That's just awesome. This one's reading 11.43 both ways. It says it's only about four inches deep. Another doubler. This time it's two half pennies. One of which is George the fifth, and the other one's George the sixth. <laughs> Very good. This is a tricky one. It's it's dipping down right into iron, but it's also shooting right up into where I would expect to find small silver coins i.e. the upper right hand side of the screen it says it's very deep so I'm kind of hoping it is a silver coin and it's just messing about with the signal because it's so deep It's actually a bullet that's smacked into something. Well, that's the end of a two hour hunt. And got quite a good haul of coins. 10 copper coins, or composite, the likes of those. Pretty worthless, but interesting nonetheless. And five silver coins. Mostly George V, one George VI. So I managed ten fairly rubbishy coins, five silver coins. So that's a great ratio, absolutely excellent. And all the silver ones are in pretty good condition as well. So I'm very pleased with that. I'm going to call it a day though, because the midges are starting to bite. I think these ones must have come down from Scotland because they're absolutely eating me alive and I don't have much hair to protect me. So, 15 coins in two hours, five of which were silver, great return. Using the E-Track with the 11 inch stock coil. Um, I did have the sensitivity ramped up a bit because it's been very, very dry. And when the ground's very, very dry, you tend not to get as good a signal off the coins. So I pushed the sensitivity up a little bit to get that bit deeper. So that's it from me, hope you enjoyed the video, I'm going to go before I get absolutely eaten to death. Thanks for tuning in, if you want more, subscribe, thanks for watching.